Okay, welcome to Learning Target 6. This is the the big one for this uh, this unit. It's um, we're going to be talking about combining probability strategies. So combining some of the ideas that we've had already. And this is where we bring a lot of the things that we need to do together. So we'll look at some examples together. But how many ways N of S can you make an ice cream cone from chocolate, strawberry, vanilla ice cream if you can have at most one of each scoop? Okay, and so when you start to think about this question, you start to think, well, one of most of each scoop, but like for certainly a single chocolate and a single strawberry and a single vanilla is different than a chocolate and a strawberry, so a two scoop. And so we actually have multiple cases in this kind of event. And that's where we start to say, well, we've got either one scoop of ice cream or two scoops of ice cream, or three, then we have a slot method under each one of those to find out how many ways to do it. So I know how to combine strategies to solve probability problems. I know that terms like at least and not require multiple cases. I can use multiple cases to calculate complicated probability problems. So if we look at that, this, we've got the license plates in Ontario, three formats as shown below. How many possible license plates are there? So we actually have three different cases. And so the first case will have six digit license plate. And there are 10 ways to do the letters, to do the numbers, and 26 ways to do the letters. And so the slot method says 10 times 10 times 10, and so on and so on. In case two, we actually have a seven digit where the first four are letters and the last three are numbers. So there are a number of ways to do that because you can repeat digits is 26 times 26 times 26 times 26 and then 10 times 10 times 10. In case three it's very similar to the first case just the letters come first and so uh, it's calculated to be the same number it's just the 26 come first. And to get the total number of cases we just add up those three numbers and we get 492 million license plates. Example two, Mr. Chambers uh, is making sig signals for his baseball team. He has five signals that he uses when telling his pitcher what to do. He wants to use at least three signals. How many different combinations of signals can he use? So case one is where he uses three signals and there are three different slots for the first signal, second signal, and third signal. There's five ways he can use, and now he has to use five, um, that doesn't say this, but but uh, we're just going to assume that he, has, he can only use one signal once. So he can tap his hat, and then his knee, and then his stomach, or something like that. So five for the first, four for the second, because you've used up one for the first, and then three for the third. Case two is where we use four signals. So it's five times four times three times two. And case three is where we use five signals. Five times four times three times two times one. Five ways to the first, all the way down to one for the last one. So you get three numbers, 60 plus 120 plus 120, and that gives you 300 different combinations. What is the probability that the letters in the word factor are arranged so that the vowels are not together? N of A is the number of ways to arrange letters so the vowels aren't together. N of S is the total number of ways to arrange the letters. What's easier to calculate than N of A is N of A prime, which is the number of ways the letters are arranged with the vowels together. N of S is just the, the number of ways to arrange the letters. 6 for the first, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The way we find out how to arrange them together is we block them. Uh, so we block them as 1, uh, OA. And so the, the two vowels are A and O. So we're going to block them as OA. since But since OA can be written as AO, we'll have two cases where we conclude the block letter as one. So 
we actually don't have a six letter word anymore we have a five letter word and one of those letters is a blocked letter so the number of ways to put them together is out of the five slots there's five for the first four for the second three for the third two and then one and then there's two cases for that to happen and so in total n of a prime will be 240 and if we take 720 which is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and subtract 240 we get n of a which is 480 and your probability is just 480 over 720 which is 67 percent uh, that's the probability that the the vowels won't be together okay a couple practice questions uh, again quite a few practice questions here the point is that you that you practice them and, and that's why there are a few more uh, from example two you can also um, if the Mr. Chambers question, you can what's the probability that he touches his nose at least once? Um, so, okay.